On August 5, 2023, AFV Recognition tweeted about the presence of one T-14 Armada main battle tank in Kazan, sparking discussions about potential movements in the region. Speculations arose regarding whether this sighting was linked to activities at the Kazan Higher Tank Command Order of Zhukov, Red Banner School, situated in the Central Military District. The institution has a history of training specialized command personnel for Russia's armored and mechanized forces. Focused on tank and motorized rifle operations, the school aims to equip officers with specific expertise. Over time, the school has adapted to changing military needs while retaining its core mission of preparing officers for tank and mechanized units. Graduates from the institution, including notable figures like General Valery Vasilyevich Gerasimov, the Chief of the General Staff of the Russian Armed Forces and First Deputy Minister of Defense, have gone on to contribute to Russia's defense and security, holding positions as generals and high-ranking officers. This tank was observed sporting the distinctive Russian tricolor AFV camouflage, a pattern often seen on BTR-82A armored vehicles. On July 19, 2023, the Army Recognition editorial team reported that T-14 Armada tanks were actively involved in combat operations as part of Russia's battlegroup South. However, due to limited visual evidence, this information led to discussions about the possible deployment of these tanks in Ukraine for combat purposes. According to a reliable source within the Russian defense industry, T-14 Armada tanks were used in combat operations by members of the battlegroup South. Several units were deployed to assess the tank's performance before being redeployed. Additionally, the same source indicated that these tanks had been integrated into units of the Southern Military District. The source clarified that trials and testing of the T-14 tank are still ongoing. On April 25, 2023, the Army Recognition editorial team reported that the Russian Army deployed the T-14 Armada tanks in Ukraine, reportedly to counter Ukrainian forces. However, these tanks had not been engaged in any direct attack missions up to that point. On February 14, 2023, the Army Recognition editorial team reported that Russian soldiers had begun training with the T-14 Armada tanks in preparation for a potential deployment to Ukraine. According to information from Russian sources, the deployment of T-14 Armada tanks in Ukraine aimed to counter the introduction of Leopard 2A6, Challenger 2, and M1A1 Abrams tanks provided by the United States and European nations. The T-14 Armada is a next-generation main battle tank developed by Russia's Eurovagonzavod, a leading tank manufacturer. Its development began in the early 2010s as part of the Armada Universal Combat Platform, aiming to create a versatile and modular system adaptable for various combat roles. The manufacturer publicly unveiled the T-14 Armada tank during the 2015 Victory Day Parade in Moscow. Since then, it has undergone extensive testing and trials, with plans to gradually replace Russia's older tank models as part of the country's military modernization efforts. The T-14 Armada exhibits a distinct design compared to its predecessors like the T-72, T-80, and T-90 tanks. One significant difference is its unmanned turret, housing the primary weapon and an autoloader. The three-person crew is located in an armored capsule at the front of the hull, separate from the turret. This design aims to enhance crew survivability and results in a lower overall profile. The advanced fire control system enables rapid target acquisition and improved accuracy by integrating data from multiple sensors, including high-resolution cameras, thermal imagers, and laser rangefinders. The T-14 Armada's modular design, based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform, allows for easy upgrades and customization to fulfill various roles, including infantry support, reconnaissance, and heavy assault. The T-14 Armada is recognized for its advanced protection features. It employs a combination of composite armor, explosive reactive armor, and an advanced active protection system APS, named Afghanit, capable of detecting and intercepting incoming projectiles. Powered by a 1,500-horsepower diesel engine, 
the T-14 Armada can achieve speeds of approximately 56 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour. Its advanced suspension system and relatively low weight contribute to impressive maneuverability and off-road capabilities. Moreover, the T-14 Armada is designed to function within a larger network battle space, integrating with other platforms and sharing data to enhance situational awareness and facilitate effective coordination among units.